Tomo News presents Wearable Technology. Digital contact lens gives a glimpse into the future. Tech giant Sony has joined the race to develop digital contact lens technology. According to an application filed with the U.S. Patent Office, Sony has plans for a wearable lens that can take photos and video. Sony filed a patent in the U.S. in May of 2013 for a smart contact lens, a fact only picked up by the media this week. The device would not only take photos and video, but also store data with no need for a tether to a smartphone. The lens would feature an organic electroluminescence display screen. By blinking an eye, the user would be able to operate the lens via the display. The camera would feature autofocus, automatic exposure adjustment, and an adjustable zoom. The device would also be able to record video, store it, and play it back. The news that Sony has been working on this technology for several years follows a trend set by Google and Samsung. In 2014, Google revealed a high-tech lens to help diabetics measure glucose levels in their tears. Samsung unveiled plans for a smart contact lens that houses a tiny camera. It seems the time when anything and everything can be filmed on the sly is not too far away. It's alive! A team at MIT have successfully created the world's first living tattoo using ink made from live bacteria. Engineers programmed bacterial cells to light up in response to different chemicals, then mixed them with hydrogel and cell-feeding nutrients to form a bio-ink. A custom 3D printer was used to print out layers of ink on a transparent elastomer patch, creating a tattoo in the shape of a tree. When the patch is placed over skin that had been exposed to the chemical stimuli, the bacteria sense the chemicals and cause branches of the tree tattoo to light up. The living tattoo has numerous applications and can be used to sense pollutants in the environment or detect changes in body temperature and pH. In the future, the team says their creation can be used to create drug capsules that produce and release compounds such as glucose therapeutically over time. Who knows, it may even be used to create living computers. Australian biohackers implant RFID chips under their skin. A brave and increasing number of biohackers in Australia are implanting microchips in their hands that allow them to remotely unlock doors and perform other tasks. The microchips are roughly the size of a grain of rice. The chips employ either RFID or NFC technology. RFID, or radio frequency identification, is a one-way communication system. RFID receivers can read data stored on the chip even at a considerable distance. RFID chips can be used to replace identification badges to unlock secure doors. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. This technology can be used for two-way communications but has a maximum operation range of 10 centimeters. An NFC chip can integrate multiple contact details and transfer them to a receiving device. It can also store complex medical data and share that information with hospitals. For the biohackers among you, an Australia couple has started a business of selling these microchips. An NFC chip costs 140 Australian dollars, while an RFID chip costs just 80. Samsung patents smartwatch with virtual user interface. A recently discovered Samsung patent shows a smartwatch that can project its interface onto any nearby surface, addressing a key limitation of the smartwatch screen. The patent describes a smartwatch with a camera that captures an image of a target area. A processor detects the target area from the image, and a projector beams the virtual interface onto the target area. The watch could project its interface onto the user's forearm, as well as their fingers. The watch could also project the interface onto any flat surface, such as a nearby door. The system would be controlled by gestures. The technology could also be applied on other wearable technologies, such as augmented reality and virtual reality headsets. The system described in the patent would make it easier for users to control a smartwatch, compared to input systems on current smartwatches, which rely on a touchscreen or mechanical controls. However, this is just a patent. Samsung has not announced concrete plans for producing such a device. MIT designs smart tattoo that can control your phone. 
A group of PhD students from MIT Media Lab, in collaboration with Microsoft Research, have developed a smart tattoo that can not only remotely control your gadgets, but is also quite fashionable too. One version of the smart tattoo has an input function using capacitive touch sensing. The gold leaf functions as electrodes and is attached to a touch controller that filters all raw data. Once the tattoo is applied onto the skin, the user can swipe or click on the tattoo as a trackpad. Another version of the smart tattoo uses skin as a display. A layer of thermochromic ink is added to the tattoo, which changes color when exposed to high temperatures. A third version contains an NFC chip that connects to a coil made of gold leaf, which allows users to exchange data via near-field communication. Researchers say the tattoos can be designed into any pattern and can even include LED lights. The materials needed to construct this technology are highly accessible, which means the total cost of making one of these tattoos is less than $5. The jewelry of the future is alive. Researchers from MIT Media Lab have taken wearable tech to another level by developing jewelry designed with small robots that can roam freely around your body. The robot consists of motors connected to magnetic wheels on top and underneath the fabric, which allow it to change orientation. The overlay cover can be covered in gem-like or fabric-like material. The robots can form various shapes and designs when used as jewelry. They can also adjust the clothing of the user when detecting a change in temperature or serve as a microphone when the user needs to answer a call. Currently, the robots have been designed to be palm-sized, but researchers said they will be miniaturized to the point that they can be seamlessly integrated into existing body ornamentation. Still, wouldn't it feel weird to have something crawling up and down your body? This supersuit can help your grandmother get around more easily. A California-based startup has designed a powered suit that can provide extra muscle strength for elderly people and increase their mobility. The Aura-powered suit is a smart suit designed to be worn in direct contact with the body. The hexagonal pods placed around muscle groups contain batteries, control boards, and elastic muscle technology. The technology contains a smart material that behaves like human muscle, which expands when exposed to an electric current and contracts when the current is removed. The suit is configured to be aligned with the body's natural muscular movements and provides extra power by the mechanical motion of the smart material. It can provide support for the user when sitting down and add muscle power when getting up. Although currently designed for the elderly, the technology was originally developed as part of a program to reduce injuries in soldiers carrying heavy loads. Check out some other cool wearable tech. Talk to the hand. British telecom company O2 has unveiled a prototype for a new wearable gadget that bridges the gap between fashion and tech. O2 has teamed up with London beauty brand Nails Incorporated to create the Mobile Nail, a wearable tech nail that can be used as a phone handset. The Mobile Nail pairs with a phone using Bluetooth and allows the user to answer a call, redial the last dialed number, or play music. The tech nail is also customizable and can be modified with different nail art designs. Along with the unveiling of Mobile Nail, O2 published its Future of Mobile Life report, which predicts that embeddable and wearable tech will advance to such a degree that the human body will replace smartphones by 2049. Japan's largest mobile network operator has debuted prototype glasses that can view, manipulate virtual images, and perform a variety of other tasks. Text captured by a camera is sent to a cloud server and analyzed in real time before the translation is sent back. The device also features facial recognition software. Names and titles can be input into the device to provide a virtual business card service. The head-mounted display can provide instant translation of written text in Japanese, English, Chinese and Korean in around 5 seconds. The technology can also turn flat surfaces into pseudo touchscreens using a ring that relays hand movements on the blank surface back to the glasses. Google patents new baseball cap camera system. Google was granted a patent on Tuesday for a new type of wearable tech, which is a video camera system mounted on a baseball cap. Google's wearable camera system can be mounted on the brim of a baseball cap. It is equipped with a built-in microphone and can connect to the wearer's mobile device via an app. The wearer hears audio via bone conduction, 
which is when sound waves are converted into vibrations that are received directly by the ear's cochlea. The wearer can capture photos and videos and upload the footage directly to social media platforms. Google's earlier creation, Google Glass, is also equipped with a camera system and comes with a price tag of $1,500. It's not yet clear how the patented baseball cap camera system would be priced.